Hi everyone and welcome to creating a Twitter clone using Ruby on Rails version 8. At the end of this course, you will have the knowledge on how to create an application like Twitter using Rails. This course is suitable for both PC and Mac users, so you don't have to worry about that. We are using Rails 8 in this course, which has some major advantages to all the previous versions. The first one is Redis free caching. Rails 8 has completely reimagined how caching works. You no longer need Redis for caching by default, thanks to the new built-in file-based caching system. It's faster, simpler to configure, and reduces deployment costs. This change makes Rails apps that would need Redis cheaper to deploy, which is extremely important. The next major change is the Kamal deployment tool. Rails 8 introduces Kamal, a sleek and modern deployment tool that makes shipping your app to production ridiculously easy. Whether you're deploying to cloud providers, Docker containers, or bare metal servers, Kamal handles it all with a few simple commands. We'll be using Kamal to deploy our Twitter clone at the end of the course. And the third major change is the built-in authentication generator. Say goodbye to setting up device or rolling your own authentication from scratch. Rails 8 comes with a new, built built-in authentication generator. We'll use it to set up user accounts and login logout functionality. So let's get started and install Ruby on Rails 8. 